Uh, okay, Miles, this is going to be your desk. Uh, it belongs to a writer called Patrick Barkham. Right, Take okay. It. We want to do a sort of 450 word piece, um, which is just a sort of guide to the five or six Latin phrases you actually yeah. will ever need. Uh, it's tied to the Michael Gove story today that uh, he wants Latin to be taught in state secondary schools. Very, very sensible. Mm. Right, yeah. And, you know, I promise that I will do my best. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, I have been tasked with writing a listicle in Guardian Speak of, of sort of five or six everyday phrases, that are the only Latin phrases you need, basically to save, to save people from having to be taught Latin at school when there's other things they can be getting on with, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, it's 12 o'clock, which means that Stephen's, um, Stephen's arrived, ready for work. He's coming, <laughs> he's coming early today. Um, and You're jealous, I'm, uh, I'm trying to write my piece. I mean, the thing is, it's, I find it quite hard to be concise. Um, oh, hello. What about the hard disk? No, no that's they always uh, that'll just disappear um, forever. You always have to destroy yours anyway. So, my deadline is 49 <coughs> minutes. <coughs> I've written, I'm not sure how many words, quite a lot, and I need to cut it down. And some of it, so i got the caps lock stuck on for a bit, so it's, it looks rather more strident than I originally intended. People like him, it's sort of in his, it's in his blood, it's guardian, comes out of his, his paws. His fingertips, presumably, is the most useful place for it to come out. Well, I'm, I've got to focus now, so... <laughs> Send it off. It's twice as long as it needs to be, um, which I suppose is better than it being half the length it needs to be. Well, it needs uh, what's called a news hook, which is where you relate it to uh, a story in the news this week. At the moment, it looks like it's just a thought that he's had, apropos of nothing. But once that's stuck in, and it's no trouble to stick that in, and once we've trimmed out about 350 words, I think we'll have a very serviceable, very funny article. Hi there, I'm uh, Miles Chupp. I'm here at the uh, Guardian offices um, where I've been learning to be a journalist, I suppose, and I've been in return, uh, in lieu of payment, I've been um, teaching um, Stephen Moss. So about a month ago, uh, one of the G2 people came to me and said, would I uh, try and be a stand-up? You know, I ought to be able to help, I suppose. It's one of my revenue streams, but... Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. He's got a gig, a very important gig, at uh, uh, Leicester, at the uh, Dave's Comedy Festival. The pacing thing is nice. Remember that in terms of pitch and tone, yep. you can go up and down. Otherwise, otherwise there is a Stephen Moss sentence, all sentences sound the same. Sound the same. And you've got a lovely level voice, and you've got a nice sonorous voice. So I would use your voice and okay. stress more words, and go up sometimes and down other times, almost at random. Good old nog gag. Um, <laughs> what it's all been about. Blaming her equipment rather than mine. Oh, oh very good. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's a natural. Um, I mean, if three jokes ago people have decided that they don't enjoy you talking about your penis, then, you know, by all means cut your losses. But you know, I don't know what would be wrong with such people. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you could make it happen, get it over in four minutes. But yeah. you know what's more enjoyable in six minutes? Like, like so many, you know, things in life. You, you just, the longer it lasts, actually, the, the, the better. Yeah. There's a sort of confidence trick to it. You stand on stage and go, hi, this is me, I'm going to say some things that are hopefully amusing. Yes, that's that's all right. If you stand on stage and go, hi, <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it doesn't put people at ease. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to make it. We're going to be okay. I think, I think you, you are going to be okay. No, it's brilliant, actually. Uh, he did a lot more. He, he twiddled with the script, he added a few jokes, which I sorely needed. Um, and he really wanted me to slow down the delivery, uh, not just kind of garble through it, rush through it, and get a kind of conversational tone to the whole thing.
from the Guardian's G2 website, please give a lovely welcome to Stephen Moss, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Hello, good to be here. Up to a point. Um, <laughs> this is a lovely place. Lovely place. I used to know the dominatrix who worked here. <laughs> uh, oh, I did. F fantastic to be uh, in, in Leicester. I think that's where I'm. Um, it's a fabulous, fabulous place, and I, I see you've got um, a, a national space centre, which is which is wonderful. Must, must be. A, I haven't been there, but it must be a special, you know, something really special. Uh, you know, a worthy monument to Britain's um, uh, incredibly successful space program. <laughs> I mean, I mean, who could <laughs> who could who could forget Beagle Two? Launched, launched um, in a bold bid to reach Mars. And I think you've got as far as Kettering. <laughs> that, thank you. That is what I laughably call the climax of the show. Um, thanks for being an understanding audience. I shall um, see you all later for my second funnier set uh, around at Moe's. So thanks very much. <laughs> It's done, that's the main thing. Um, I, I really enjoyed it in a strange sort of way. I felt quite relaxed. Um, it was interesting because uh, obviously I had the script and I stuck pretty rigidly to the script because, in a way, because I had to, I felt if I l lost a line, I didn't quite know where I was in the script. But um, there was quite more audience reaction than I anticipated. But I quite enjoyed feeding off that in a way. Uh, so I was, um, I think, reasonably flexible in terms of at least responding uh, to what was going on. And, uh, and I really enjoyed that. It's, um, you sl slightly start to panic if you've had no response for about 20 seconds and you think this must be really boring. So, um, and uh, uh, the compere said to me that was funny. Uh, he looked uh, doubtful about the material. Didn't seem to think that was funny, but he thought that um, uh, the way I kind of, you know, handle the non-material was quite funny. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased and uh, very happy it's done. But, uh, and probably I won't uh, change careers just yet. <laughs>